A student is suing Geibel Catholic High School and a fellow student after she says she was sexually assaulted on the campus. John Chumway is live with the details. John. Yeah, and I want to tell you right up front that these young people were juveniles when this happened, so we are not going to use their names, even though they are included in this lawsuit that was filed in the federal courthouse behind me. Now, in this lawsuit, the plaintiff claims that a sexually hostile environment was allowed at the school where the young lady says the male student assaulted her twice. The lawsuit says the female student, while doing volunteer work last June, was forcibly kissed and then cornered in a bathroom by two boys. One of whom stood guard and another attempted to sexually assault her. Luckily, my client was able to escape. The lawsuit says she escaped as the boy tried to pull her pants down and her phone fell from a pocket, distracting him for just a second. When her parents contacted the school, they were told to come to a face-to-face -face meeting with the boy and his father. It's wildly inappropriate. It should have never been, uh, it should have never happened. My client was already traumatized by what had occurred in this bathroom and to make her sit down in front of the person who attempted to assault her and then to have her be told this is a lie, this didn't happen is damaging beyond belief. Tuttle says no action was taken against the boys for the June 20th incident. A report was filed with the police and is under investigation. And then on November 25th in the school hallway. He reached out, grabbed my client's buttocks, after my client had reported his conduct to Principal Nickler, Principal Nickler did nothing, and then this happened. She reported the subsequent assault, and Principal Nickler did nothing yet again. Now, the lawsuit claims that one of those boys was also involved in three other incidents of sexual nature that the school was aware of. Now, I tried to reach the principal involved. She and the school referred me to the Greensburg Diocese, who gave me this statement this afternoon. Both the Pennsylvania State Police and Pennsylvania Child Line were notified about the allegations in June by Geibel administration, who will cooperate fully with any inquiries by investigators. Reporting live uptown, John Shumway, KDKA News.